last but not least is the um, tracking tool uh, not not a super fancy feature uh, but in a pinch it can uh, help you sort of track you know make a vignette move with the image um, so here's how basically we do it let's look at this shot if we remember this from class it's a simple uh, tilt up onto a city skyline at sunset and um, uh, what we want to do is uh, add uh, like a what looks like a little uh, effect where we can uh, maybe make the water look a little less yellow get a little bit more color variation in here uh, so we might create a vignette around the sky and buildings to kind of hold the orange and maybe you know saturate it maybe a little bit more and then um, on the over the water we get something that is uh, a little bit bluer so we can manipulate the image but because the shots moving the the vignettes gonna need to move too well we can use the tracking feature to actually create the um, the motion and move the vignette with the image so let's gonna I'm gonna stop there uh, because that's kind of where the shot stops and I'm gonna draw my vignette there so I'm gonna jump into the secondary and here I am in the secondary tab I'm gonna enable it and I'm going to click vignette I'm gonna change it to square and I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, make it kind of big all right and I'm gonna increase the softness a little bit make it a nice smooth transition and I think I'm gonna just drop it right there now I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna check my control here it's set to inside that means up here is inside the square and I'm gonna maybe just push the midtones um, oop, saturation I'm gonna bump up the saturation a little bit okay all right now I'm gonna switch it to outside so now we're on outside the square that's in the water and I'm gonna kind of push the shadow towards blue a little bit. Oop, that's too much. That looks gross. Um, but uh, you know, something like that. Just you know, maybe a little highlight blue. Just just to give it a little variation. Okay. If we want to see the effect of that, I turn it off and on. So okay, that that looks a little better. So now when we um, obviously when we scan the clip here and we um, um, play it we need the vignette to follow the image well here's how we do this okay uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump over to I'm um, gonna to the geometry tab and I'm gonna select the tracking tab over here so I've got pan and scan I've got shapes and tracking all right so I right now I'm not on frame one um, I want to start tracking at the beginning of the clip so I need to move to the beginning of the clip so there's the beginning of the clip and then what I need to do is find a nice you know sharp point of contrast in the image that will stay in the image and can I can use as a good tracking point point. and uh, right up here in this area here is a good good start so what I'll do is I'll click new and it drops a tracking point and what I'll do is drag this up here and you'll notice I've got two boxes I've got this is a search area and this is a you know what what's inside this it uses to define what to track if I make this too big it's gonna it's gonna have a really hard time understanding what in this image is needs to be tracked because as the camera moves it's gonna change its perspective it it's it's it there might be new things in the shot um, a, a big sort of a track area is is not a good idea too small and it, it doesn't have enough pixels really to sort of hold on to the image but usually this default square is pretty good and you might change the shape a little bit you know to sort of help you know because what I have here is um, uh, 
uh, what I have there is kind of an oblong shape. So I'll just do that, and I'll do that. And uh, all right, so I've set up my tracker. I've got it on a point that I think it's going to be able to follow. And then what I do is, you'll notice in the timeline, it, it creates this little in and out for the track. And then I'm just going to hit the process button. And it's going to go through and track that point for me. Frame by frame. You can also do this manually. And uh, I can also show you how to do that. Got a little bit of a bobble there. I think maybe what I did is I created too wide of a track tracker point. I think that little green box is too big. But I think it's going to work. So there, I've got my tracker, tracker one. That's what I just made. I go back to my secondaries. And now when it says in my vignette, in order to tell it to tra use that tracker, I gotta go right here, use tracker, and select the tracker I just, just selected. Now, when I scrub the clip, you'll notice that the vignette is indeed moving, but it is not lined up anymore. Well, how do I line it up? Well. It's all relative to the tracker, so all I need to do is just go into my preview here, click and move my vignette back where, where I want it to be, and then it's locked back up to the tracker again. All right, looking good. All right, so that's how the tracker works, you're done. Uh, I just tracked something. Um, let's look at this example real quick. This example is something that is not the auto tracker isn't going to be successful with. Oh, oh God, it's the blue face girl. All right, so this is not something that the tracker is going to be able to follow. Let's try and just see what happens. So I'll go to my geometry tab. I'll click tracker, uh, I'll click new, there's my tracker. Let's just pick this point right here. All right, and I'll, I'll increase this a little bit and I'll make this like this. Let's just see what happens, process. See, it's already wandering off of my mark. Whoa, it's just, whoa, where's it going? Yeah, it's in outer space. I'm gonna cancel this. Okay, that didn't work. Let's remove that. Well, let's try again. Let's see, let's just, you know, I'm gonna go back to frame one and I'm gonna move this tracker to there. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna make this real big again, not so big, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and make this a little bit smaller, and let's see, process. Oh God, it's, it's, it's screwing up again. Nope, let's cancel. All right, that didn't work, let's remove it. So that means we're gonna have to do this by hand. All right, so, I'm gonna click manual tracker. Now, it, you notice the status says green. It is waiting for me to go ahead and start creating tracker points manually by clicking. So what I'll do is I'll just vis visualize this. If I wanna, you know, I, what I'll do is I just, I'm gonna track this point right here. I'll click, I'll click, and it automatically steps forward and I'll just click again. And I'm going to tr keep tracking this point manually, and I'm just going to go through this whole thing, all right, and create a point at all, you know, every time this little thing, you know, occurs. And sometimes the point's right on top of where I want to click, so I'm just going to click on it. And I can just cruise through this whole thing and create my tracker. 
and um, the, you're just creating these points and the program will interpolate between these points in a smooth way so you still get the benefit of a smooth track but sometimes um, you know this is the way to sort of do it you know you've got a difficult thing to track you know this is how you're gonna have to do it okay you don't want to see me doing this for an hour but now you now you now you get it okay so I could use this as a tracker um, and uh, attach something to it I could go to um, this is tracker one I go to the secondary here and I could put a little vignette and I could put it here and I could you know put this stop this down here and maybe what I want to do is um, just so we can see what's going on all right so we can see this tracking and I'll track yep, to tracker one okay let's back up here and oop. And let me move this over here so we can I can say the tracker is right in this the bow of the boat was you know okay so now it's using the tracker see I just manually did that and you'll notice that it locks once it once it runs out of tracker points it it it, it disappears okay but you know notice the wave formation breaking off of the bow it's a point of interest in this video. Okay. So anyway, that's tracking. That's the nuts and bolts. I hope you love it.